really don't have the strength to take this suitcase any further. I wonder who can help me. I'll wait for the storm to end before I step outside. Hi there. Hey, hi there. What are you doing? Can I see? No, too difficult. Momo's work very difficult. So, your name's Momo. I'm Kate. Momo do like hands. He draw. Haunts? Don't disturb Momo. Momo work difficult. Will you show me your drawing? No, not finished. Go away. I've just arrived. Uh, my case is a little heavy. Can you help me take it up to the room? Momo strong. Very strong. But no time. Momo very busy. I guess I'll let you continue working. I shouldn't leave my luggage here. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Hi there. Hello there, ma'am. I would like a room. My company should have made a reservation in the name of Walker. The company is Marson and Lormont Associates. The name is Kate Walker. Of course, Miss Walker. You are in room six on the next floor up. Thank you. Could you possibly take my luggage up, please? 
Please do excuse me, Miss Walker. We have been neglecting our duties. Guests are so rare these days that we forget our manners. So you're the American woman? Is it true what people say? That you've come to buy the factory? Not factory. Anna's house. Han's house. Excuse me? Would you quiet down, you mischievous little boy? Ah. Oh. I imagine our little town must disappoint you. You see, today is very sad for us. It's a day of mourning. Today is the funeral of Miss Anna. Momo sad, but Han's not dead. Han's long way away. Anna told Momo. Anna liked Momo very much. That's enough, Momo! Stop pestering the lady! Now go on, scram! Get out of here, you hear? What was I saying? Oh yes, Miss Anna. Such a great loss for Valle de Laine, it really is. Because now that she's dead, the factory will close. But you're here to stop that happening, aren't you? Our future is in your hands, Miss Walker. What? Anna Varlberg is... dead? Here's your room. I hope you like it, Miss Walker. I'll leave you to rest for the time being. You must have a lot of work to do. You know, the takeover of the factory is very good news for us here. It would make us very happy to see life return to our valley. If only you had seen Valadilen before. It was delightful. People came from all over the world to buy Vorlberg automatons. Ah, somebody has left you some mail, I see. Remember, if you need anything at all, we're not far away, Miss Walker. I don't need that for the time being. I should tell Marson about the death of Miss Varlberg. I hope this isn't going to get too complicated. I can't see myself staying here too long. Marson and Lamont, how can I help you? Can you put me through to Mr. Marson, please? It's Kate Walker. Hold the line, please. Hello, Kate. So tell me, how's the case going? I've just got to Valady Len, and there's a slight problem, Mr. Marson, I'm afraid. Mrs. Vorlberg is dead. Ah, that's most unfortunate. But I seem to remember we made provisions for just such a sad eventuality, and we know that there was no heir. Yes, that's right, but... So where's the problem, Kate? Contact the notary right away. I'll get my secretary to fax you his address and an introduction letter from the firm. Very good, Mr. Marson. Right. I gotta go, Kate. Keep me up to date, okay? I just...
No need to go down there. I'm back again. Miss Walker? A fax didn't arrive for me, did it? Maybe. I thought I heard the phone ring. Do you think you might want to go and check? Certainly, ma'am. Immediately. Thank you very much. Thank you. At your service. Who is the boy who was drawing here earlier? Is he your son? Heaven forbid! No, no, not at all. <laughs> He's not a bad boy. No, Momo is just a little simple, that's all. What is his connection with Anna Varlberg? Momo is what you'd call the village idiot, and Anna took him under her wing. He must have reminded her of her younger brother, no doubt. And uh, birds of a feather stick together, don't they? You're implying that Anna Varlberg was a little bit slow as well? Heaven forbid! No, no, not at all. She was a real loner. She kept to herself, that's all. I just love all these little mechanical robots. I've noticed there are tons of them here in Valadilene. Be careful what you say. Vorlberg automatons are not robots. If you want people to like you here, never ever pronounce the word robot. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the difference between an automaton and a robot, then? <laughs> uh, well, to tell you the truth, no one really knows. Did you know Anna Vorlberg yourself? Oh, why, of course I did. I, I mean, well, not really. She was a very great lady. We loved her very much. May she rest in peace. I think I'm going to need your help again. Are you leaving already, Miss Walker? Should we bring down your luggage? No, no, I'm not leaving yet. It's just that... We would love to help, but just think what would happen if the telephone rang or, or if a fax arrived. Or if a customer came through the door. We don't have five minutes rest here. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. No biggie. The young boy who was here earlier talked about uh, uh, Hans. Uh, who is Hans? Uh, Momo was talking about Hans Vorlberg, Anna's younger brother. But he died a long time ago. Nobody here even met him. I'm gonna go look around Valadie Len. See you later. As you like, miss.
No need to go down there. No need to go down there. Good morning. Are you open? Can I buy something from your bakery? Oh, afraid not. Not possible. We're closed. I can wait a while. You can wait, but we're closed all day. Day of mourning. I'm sorry. Please accept my condolences. Don't worry about it. Because of Madame Vorobolg's death, all the shops are closed. Mayor's decision. Try tomorrow. Tomorrow I won't be here. That's a pity. Things jammed.
I should talk to the notary first. Hello, sir. Miss Walker, I presume. Have you had a good journey? Everything went very smoothly. Thank you. Do take a seat, Miss Walker, please. I imagine you are aware of the business that brings me here. Of course. I was waiting for you. I am the legal representative for the Universal Toy Company. I'm responsible for... So I understood, Miss Walker. Seeing how as Madame Varlberg is no longer with us, I trust that I can rely on you to conclude the sale? Please do not set your hopes too high, Miss Walker. I fear that I cannot be of much help to you. Have you ever met Hans Varlberg, Anna's brother? I have a few vague memories of him, that is all. I was very young at the time. <laughs> very young. If you don't mind, can we come back to that later? At the tavern, I met a young boy by the name of Momo. I was informed that he is mentally disabled. Whatever his condition, he told me about a man called Hans. He's apparently Madame Varlberg's brother. Moreover, it appears that Hans is not actually dead. What do you think of that? <clears throat> Let us take one thing at a time, Miss Walker. You will receive all the information you need in due course, you can be sure of that. That is a magnificent automaton you have at your entrance. I am very proud of it. And since my health problems, it has become absolutely indispensable for me. Yes, indispensable. It was Anna Vorlberg who had the idea. She provided many houses with this kind of machinery. You don't find it suspicious that Madame Vorlberg left us so suddenly? Her death took us by surprise. She still seemed to have so much life left in her. I would have loved to have met her. Anna Vorlberg was not only one of my most faithful clients, she was also a very dear friend. Miss Walker, I am afraid that the sale of the Vorlberg factory is not as straightforward as it first seemed. Whoa there. Everything was agreed. We'd obtained Anna Vorlberg's consent, and her death does absolutely nothing to invalidate that. Now I have to be back in New York the day after tomorrow, Metro Alphotair. My client and I are impatient to seal this deal. I understand only too well, Miss Walker. <clears throat> there is a... An heir, Miss Walker. Excuse me? An heir? But Madame Varlberg never married, as far as I know. And in my last conversation with her, she absolutely never mentioned this detail. Walker, believe me, I was more surprised than you are. Anna Varlberg sent me a letter two days before she died. Understand, Miss Walker, that had I known about this earlier, I would have informed you. I shall read you the document in my possession. <clears throat> I am so very old. It seems that today life is slipping away from me more quickly than I imagined, and I fear that I will not be of this world to sign the takeover contract for my dear factory. So, I must make this confession to you now. My brother, Hans, is still alive. It would not surprise me if you find this difficult to believe, but it is indeed the truth. 
You must remember his death, his funeral, too. Even though you were very young at the time, it was but a sordid charade dreamt of by our father. To him, the very idea that his only son should wish to leave Baladilen and abandon the family business was unbearable. When Hans left, he preferred to think him dead and make everybody else believe this too. He obliged me to bear this terrible secret as well. I repeat that Hans is still alive, so when I die, it is he who becomes the sole and rightful heir of our factory. I see. If Hans Varlberg is not dead after all, then I just have to sign the contracts with him. I suppose you've already contacted him? Where can I reach him? The second half of the letter informs us that Hans Varlberg is somewhere in Siberia. I will leave the document in your hands to read at your leisure. Anna Varlberg had no further information to add? Unfortunately not, Miss Walker. I have told you as much as I know. The situation, in legal terms, is now clear. If you want to conclude this sale, you have to find Hans Vorlerberg. Apparently, there is a body lying in the town cemetery. There also seems to be some ghost wandering around Siberia. It seems you have your work cut out for you. Believe me, Miss Walker, when I say that I am most sorry for this regrettable setback. Most sorry. Great. What now, then? Perhaps you will find out more in the Varlberg factory archives. You will find the key in the waiting room. My role in this affair finishes here with the reading of this letter. And now, if you'll excuse me, I must rest. You see, my health is not excellent at the moment, and my doctor forbids me from working for too long. I will not detain you for any longer, Miss Walker. Do not forget to close the door as you go out. Goodbye, sir.
Hello? Kate? Dan, I'm so pleased to hear your voice. How are you, honey? Did you have a good journey? Have you settled in? I was long, tiring, damp especially, but I'm okay. Especially when you... Everything going as planned? Yeah, I mean, well, not really. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. You know, everything's so different here. Actually, while we're on the subject, I managed to free myself up tomorrow our lunchtime. I'll come and meet you at the airport. I hope the flight from Paris won't be delayed. We're expected at the Goldbergs about 8 o'clock. I hope you have the time to take a shower and change, my poor honey bun. Dan, I don't think the Goldbergs tomorrow night is really on. Don't worry, Kate. You'll be as perfect as ever. Anyway, you never have to wear much to look really great. Dan, Dan, I I'm going to have to extend my stay here. There's one or two complications. You understand? Kate, honey, what are you talking about? It's only a measly toy factory. The sale isn't going through as expected. I I've got to stay a bit longer. Dan, you don't mind, do you? But Kate, Katie, you can't do this to me. I mean, it's the Goldberg contract. There's millions of dollars on the line here. I know, I'm sorry. You go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll get back as soon as I can, I promise. Okay, I I I've got to go. I'll call you back soon. Love you, honey. Good morning. Good morning? What a pleasure to meet such a lovely young lady honoring our aging streets. Please, uh, please sit yourself down next to me so we can enjoy the air together. It would be a pleasure, but I'm afraid I don't have the time. Some other time, maybe. I hope so, miss. I remember when these streets were full of vibrant life. In those days, there was a charming encounter to be had round every corner. Ah, our good little town of Valadilene is not what it used to be. It looks like things have changed a bit around here. Our children have all left the valley. They need to earn a living, don't they? Can't really blame them. You have to move with the times, don't you? And it's not at the Vorlberg factory that they'll find jobs. <laughs> Being excluded from the world is not an easy burden to bear, believe you me, miss. But it's such a pretty little village. Uh, I can tell you're not from these parts. I hope you enjoy the pleasures that we still have to offer. Good day to you. Hello again. If you have five minutes to sit and talk, I could tell you a thing or two about the olden days. I am sorry. I, I really am in a hurry. Ah, uh, it is a pity.
Hello. Kate, so what's new? We've got a problem, Mr. Marson. What problem? Come on, Kate, don't beat around the bush. There's maybe an heir. What? Hans, Anna Varlberg's brother. Uh, looks like he's still alive. We can't buy the factory without his consent. What? What is this? Where's this mystery brother come from? And more to the point, where is he? What did the notary say? Nothing. I mean, nothing else. You know, sir, it's an odd town here. Everything's odd. The people, things... The situation's not straightforward. I have a small bit of research to do. Listen to me, Kate. Universal Toys is one of our biggest clients. And I don't care how weird that town is. All that matters is that you do not set foot back in New York before you've tied up the deal. Get the picture. Yes, Mr. Morrison. You can count on me. I... Darn it! No point. It's locked. No point, it's locked. This thing's jammed.
Doesn't look like that works. I no longer need these punch cards.
door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Good morning. You've got a magnificent garden here. Oh, please, don't talk about it. Since my gardener automaton broke down, there are weeds everywhere. You can't imagine how much work it takes me. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. We're not used to doing without our robot help here in Veladilan. But everybody says that we're going to have to get used to it. No point, it's locked.
I need a key.
Mamas, you draw mamas for Momo? Ah, Momo, it's you. You scared me. What are you doing in here? Momo want mamas picture, like Hans picture. Sorry, I haven't got a picture of a mammoth with me. Take paper and pencil and draw mamas for Momo. You don't give up easily, do you? Remember me, don't you? I'm Kate. Draw mamas for Momo, please. You must find me a bit rude turning up places uninvited where nobody knows who I am. You see, it's kind of my job, you know, to get involved. But don't mind me. Just carry on with what you're doing. Momo not mind. Anna kind. Never angry. That's right. She won't be angry. Not now. There's something I'm looking for, but I don't quite know what. I need a clue, anything that might tell me where Hans is. You want to help me, don't you? First, you draw mammoths for Momo. And if I help you, you help me, right? Mm, Momo, no, Kate is kind. Kate draw mammoths for Momo. Then Momo tell Kate secret. You've got a secret? First, draw mammoths for Momo. Do you know if Anna came here often with Hans? Momo want Mama's picture. Like Hans' picture. What's going to happen to you now that Anna is gone? Momo big now. They want Momo live at inn. Momo don't want. Momo take care of Momo. From what I've seen, you look pretty resourceful. It must be fascinating to live in a village full of automatons. Automatons made by hands. Difficult work. When Momo big, he do like hands. Momo friend of automatons. Tell me, Momo. Did you come here a lot with Anna? Mm-hmm. 
Anna like Momo. Anna like Hans. Anna on journey. You're a sweet kid, Momo, but I can't draw, least of all mammoths. Draw mammoth easy. Hans draw mammoth. Anna draw mammoth. Kate too. I mean, maybe I could do a quick squiggle of a box, say, that has a mammoth inside. No, Momo want a real mammoth. <sighs> My goodness, you are one stubborn boy. Momo, I've got to go now, but see you later, maybe. Thank you. Momo happy. Now follow Momo. Momo show his secret to Kate.
It's a shame this boat's been left to rot. Now it's full of holes. is some walk you've taken me on. I've got to say, though, it sure is mighty pretty. Momo come here often. Momo like make splash in water. Tell me, Momo, do you really think that after all these years, Anna's brother is still alive? Anna always say hands go away, but hands come back, maybe. Because of you, Momo, I look more like an explorer than a lawyer now. If Dan could see me, I don't think he'd like what he saw. Momo don't know Dan. Why have you brought me here? Mammoth doll in cave. Very important for hands, Anna say. Cave? What cave? Where? Momo not liar. Right. Now we're here? What do we do? Kate and Momo throw stones in water. Momo, we're here because of the cave. Something to do with the cave. Momo and Kate, friends. You are a strange one, Momo. I'm beginning to see why Anna Varelberg liked you. Momo, he... Mm, Momo look, look like Hans. Momo very proud. Momo, I've got to go now. But see you later, maybe. broken. I've got to get a helping hand here. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Can you help me, please? What do? Help me open the dam. Um, Momo strong. broken.
Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Can you help me, please? What do? Let me open the dam. Dam broken. I could use one of the oars from this boat as a lever, but how am I ever going to get a hold of it? Ugh, that oar is all dirty and wet. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. I've moved the ore nearer. Be a good boy and carry it for me? Momo say yes. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Can you help me, please? What do? I need a hand opening the dam. Momo say yes. Momo strong. Momo very strong. Thank you, Momo.
Hello? Kate? Is that you? Well, yeah, who did you think it was? Uh, I didn't recognize your voice, that's all. Must be the distance or something. So, spill the beans. What's Europe like? You lucky lady, you. Honestly, I never get that kind of break. Well, so far all I've seen of Europe is this tiny village, and frankly, they're not very hospitable. Uh, the whole case is getting really complicated. There's this surprise heir I've got to find. I know. I talked to Lynn, who bumped into Josh, and she had coffee with the head honcho this morning. He didn't sound at all happy. The client's meeting him tomorrow, and when Marston tells him that the sale's not even gone through yet, whoa, you're going to be pleased you're on the other side of the ocean when that bomb goes off. Yeah, I get the picture. But so, how about yourself? What's up at work? We lost the Sarah Lou trial. I worked five months on that dumb case. I remember. So, for a bit of therapy, I went to Boomies. The sale started yesterday. Wow, lucky. It was absolutely crazy, Katie. Absolute mayhem. You know that blue silk top I wanted? Guess how much I got it for. I don't know. 250? 200? 140 dollars. <laughs> Just get yourself back here and I'll go down with you. <sighs> like it's my choice. Look, I gotta go. Call me soon, huh? I want a blow-by-blow -blow account of every moment of your great adventure. Get out of here. Look after yourself. You too. Yeah, I will.
Yes, hello? Kate, what happened to you, my poor munchkin? I've been trying to contact you for hours. I'm in Europe, Ma. Job thing. What? Europe? My God. Oh, I've got such happy memories of Europe. Some of them even involve your father, but uh, that's enough of that. Tell me, where are you? Paris? London? Venice? Valadilen, yeah. I know, it's a bit out in the boonies. What in the world are you doing out there? You know, business. I've got to see through the takeover of some old family business that's got a few debts. It's a really charming place, but there's one or two weird things going on here. I, I can't go into it now. Oh, well, that's right. Your old mother's too dumb to understand it. You really do take after your father sometimes. Mother. Kate, you'll never guess who I saw yesterday. Ma, I haven't got a lot of time, you know. Frank! Ma, please, I've got to go. Frank! Frank Malkovich, the Russian opera singer. Well, maybe you don't remember him. He was quite a star in his day. Listen, Ma, I really don't have the time. I'll call you back. He is as charming as he always was. We spent the... Mom, I really have to go. I'll call you back, I promise. Lots of love. Kate! It's really heavy. I've got to get some help. I don't need to do that again. Thanks indeed. I am most embarrassed for you to see me like this. I lack a certain completion. You see, nobody here found the time to polish off the finishing touches. Honestly, these days, we really have lost the art of good workmanship. Uh, yeah, maybe. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Could you please state your identity, articulating clearly? My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Allow me to introduce myself. I am model XZ2000. My common name is Oscar. 
I represent the technological zenith of this factory's production. I have been designed to drive a locomotive. A touch messy, but an essential task. Have you logged my first and last name? Perfectly. Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you. Me too, uh, Model XZ2000. Please, all my friends call me Oscar. This fad for cryptic names is such a bore. Could you imagine being called by your passport number? I suppose not, Mr. Oscar. Sir. Has it been a long time since you last saw Anna Vorlberg? 72 hours, 32 minutes, and 20 seconds to be precise. This regrettable absence explains the delay in my production process. Anna Vorlberg is dead, Mr. Oscar. What do you mean by the notion of death, Kate Walker? Broken. Disactivated. Worn out. Damaged. Unplugged. Oh, that really is most bothersome. I'd rather count it on finishing my production. You are a very strange robot. Automaton, if you please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Automatons have an additional soul auxiliary, you understand? Uh, I think so. Can I be of use to you? Why, you certainly can. I absolutely must have my feet. My hands are Model XZ-2003. My feet are Model XZ-2005 underscore B. Be careful. The Model XZ-2005 underscore A has evidenced some rather embarrassing performance failures. Like bugs? Automatons do not have bugs, Kate Walker. They simply display functional idiosyncrasies. I'm sorry, I didn't know. What do I have to do to get you a pair of feet? Use the assembly line to construct them. You will need a production punch card, on which is recorded my body design data. Here is my own punch card. Okay, I'll give it a go. Thank you, Kate Walker. You said you were a train engineer? What train would that be? But, Kate Walker, you have not seen the magnificent train waiting at the station? And where is that train going, Mr. Oscar? The train is going far away. Very, very far away indeed. Are you taking any passengers? My duty is to drive the train. Above all, to avoid delays. An engineer prides himself on punctuality. I will agree with you, though, Kate Walker, that a train without passengers is hardly a train at all. You haven't answered my question. For further details, please consult Anna Vorlberg. Does the name Hans Vorlberg mean something to you? Of course. He created me. But I am sorry to say that I am yet to meet my maker. Have you any idea where he might be right now? No, Kate Walker. But I am sure I would experience great metaphysical satisfaction in his presence. As bizarre as it may seem, I have the impression you are the only person who can help me. I very much doubt it, Kate Walker. Why do you say that? What good am I without appendices, I ask you? Do you know where I could find the factory paperwork? I cannot reply to this question with precision. Try Anna Vorlberg's office above the machine floor. Oscar, I am delighted to have met you. See you again soon, I hope. Yes, Kate Walker.
I don't need to do that again. Oh my gosh. Invoices, invoices, more invoices. I never knew the factory was in such a bad way financially. These last two years must have been very hard for Anna Vorlberg.
But it's dark in there. Don't worry, I took a lantern. From the factory. <sighs> Girls, honestly. You won't look so clever when Father notices you've stolen one of his lanterns. Oh, I'm all covered in mud because of you. Look, Anna. Look. I've seen paintings like this in a library book. They're like you swore, Anna. It's a secret between you and me. Hey, look. There's something else up there. Oh, come on. It's like a toy. I have to have it. Give me some light. But Hans, it's much too high. Do be careful, Hans. Hans, be careful! For weeks, my brother lay in a coma, hanging between life and death. And then one morning, he opened his eyes. But I knew he would never be the same again. We never did return to the cave, and to this day, I have never ever betrayed our secret. Doesn't look like that works. Doesn't look like that works. I don't need to use this console. Not yet.
Here are your feet, Oscar. I hope they fit. Kate Walker, I see you managed to produce two XZ2005 underscore B models. Allow me to express a real feeling of joy, Kate Walker. They really suit you. Comfy? Very. You are very kind, Kate Walker. I am sorry to have to leave you. Where are you going? I must find my train. Its departure is imminent. These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. Hey there, Oscar. My functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Even if you are my first and only passenger. Me? Your passenger? Yes, you, Kate Walker. Is it not for that reason you completed my production process? If you say so. Oscar, you know you could just call me Kate. It would be so much nicer. Especially as we're going on such a long journey together. I am sorry, Kate Walker, 
but I have already logged your name. I cannot modify this data, and my functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Well, I hope your functions permit you to learn the difference between being familiar and quite simply nice. I... I have decided to come along for the ride, Oscar. Ready when you are. Your ticket, please? My ticket? What are you talking about? The rules clearly state, Kate Walker, every passenger of this train must possess a ticket. Okay. And where do I get hold of a ticket? Only the ticket vendor may issue tickets. You are in luck. The ticket office must be open now. You should go there immediately. No need to go down there. But it's you? What can I do for you, madam? But Oscar, it's me, Kate Walker. Correct. Your name is indeed Kate Walker. What can I do for you, Kate Walker? A train ticket, please. Why? Do you sell anything else? The only function of this ticket office is to issue tickets. You are requested to accelerate operations. The office closes in exactly three minutes. What can I do for you? A ticket, please. One ticket? Yes. One ticket. What is your final destination? I don't know. It's you who told me I had to get a ticket. A ticket to... Travel, then. There you are. Do not lose it. This office is not entitled to produce duplicates. This advice also applies to the accompanying documentation. What's that? The authorization for the release of the train. The ticket officer may ask you for it at any time. But I mean, you are the... Attention! The exact moment has arrived to close this office. I was gonna call you. Yeah, yeah. Are you mad at me? I've just called Marson and Lormont. They told me you weren't expected to return this week. Oh, yeah. So when are you coming home? I don't know. 
There's nothing I can do about it. The situation is kind of tricky, you know. At the beginning of next week, I hope. Yeah, whenever. Dan, please. Just hang in there, okay? The stakes are higher than I thought, and you know how much I love this job. I suppose it's neither here nor anywhere to you that the Goldbergs are going to... It is. I mean, it isn't. I mean, Dan, this really isn't the moment. You know I'm thinking about you. I love you, sweetheart, and I'll give you a call when I have some news. Promise. I've got to go now. I've got kind of a, a train to catch. A train? Where are you off to now? This is crazy, Kate. To tell you the truth, I've no idea. Love you, honey. You know that. Kate! It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Oscar, if you were in my shoes right now, what would you do? My reasoning mechanism does not permit me to manage problems outside the mandate of my own functioning. I can't wait to meet Hans Varlberg. What about you? I would find the experience inordinately gratifying. And I won't forget to congratulate him on the success of his incredible automaton. Why, thank you, Kate Walker. This train is amazing. I'm going to travel like a princess. I am happy that you like it, Kate Walker. This train has been designed to optimize passenger comfort. Are you the only automaton on the train, Oscar? I have been designed to attend to all tasks relating to the smooth functioning of the train and the comfort of its passengers. Okay, okay, Oscar. I don't doubt your talents for a second. Poor Madame Vorlberg. I'm sure she would have loved to come along. This train was designed for only one passenger, Kate Walker. So, it's like I've taken her seat. Don't think for one moment that I'm bored of you, Oscar, but I have to go. I also have much to attend to, Kate Walker. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. Why don't you want to take my ticket? I must abide by regulations, Kate Walker. Not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. I must confirm your departure release. You can be a real stickler for the rules, Oscar, my old fellow. Here. This is the authorization for the release of the train. It has not been signed, Kate Walker. Oscar, you're going too far. You just gave me this. Does the train belong to you, Kate Walker? No. So there. This train cannot leave Aladdin without the agreement of its owner. I don't think Madame Varlberg is in a position to sign anything right now. In that case, the stamp of her legal representative is perfectly sufficient. Please hurry up, Kate Walker. This train will soon depart, and I must ensure it is not delayed.
Oh no, I forgot the notary will be resting. I'm back again. Miss Walker? I think I'm going to need your help again. Are you leaving already, Miss Walker? Should we bring down your luggage? No, no, I'm not leaving yet. It's just that... We would love to help, but just think what would happen if the telephone rang, or, or if a fax arrived, or if a customer came through the door. We don't have five minutes rest here. I'm sorry. It's okay. No biggie. Um, I'm going to have to extend my hotel reservation. Stay as long as you need to. Really, it's no trouble. We're delighted to have a little bit of life at the inn. How many extra days will you be staying? I really can't say. I'm just not used to this sort of situation. It's so unexpected. First the alive person dies, next the dead person comes alive, it... It is indeed a very unusual situation. We have a cousin who has an inn in Bremen. He has problems with ghosts. Imagine, the ghost refuses to leave his room. The only way to move him was to give him a bed in the attic. <laughs> it seems that the ghost I'm looking for hangs out in Siberia. Well, that is very unusual. Please, do stay in the room as long as you wish. <sighs> if only I had a wish.
Here, this is your stupid train release ratification, Oscar. Thank you, Kate Walker. That is perfect. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why we can't leave. I'd hate to think it's me that's delaying the train like this. I do not wish to appear impolite, Kate Walker, but I am afraid that not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. If that's a joke, Oscar, it's not very funny. I really need to find Hans Vorlberg as quickly as possible. I have strict instructions to obey. There are three spaces in the luggage compartment that are designed to accommodate two very important objects. The train can only depart when they are in place. Please excuse me now. I must return to my departure preparations. Oh, I wouldn't want to break any rules. It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Why aren't we setting off, Oscar? I must abide by regulations. Your ticket, please, Kate Walker. Don't think for one moment that... I also have... There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why you're still refusing to take this ticket. Everything is in order, and an engineer prides himself. On punctuality. Yes, Oscar, I remember. But what now? But what's up, Oscar? Why haven't you returned to your engine room? If I may be so bold as to express a personal opinion on this matter, Kate Walker? I'm all ears, Oscar. I fear we have omitted to wind up the locomotive springs. Is that all? Then let's do it, for Christ's sake. I'm afraid I have no notion of how to implement this function, Kate Walker. It would seem that the makeshift completion of my production process is responsible for a lack of instruction on this matter. Okay, right. I'll see to that myself, then. I mean, a wind-up train can't be that complicated. You wait there. I won't be long. Thank you, Kate Walker.
Kate, it's me again. Dan, I was gonna call you. Yeah, yeah. Are you mad at me? I've just called Marson and Lorman. They told me you weren't expected to return this week. Oh, yeah. So when are you coming home? I don't know. There's nothing I can do about it. The situation is kind of tricky, you know. At the beginning of next week, I hope. Yeah, whenever. Dan, please. Just hang in there, okay? The stakes are higher than I thought. And you know how much I love this job. I suppose it's neither here nor anywhere see that the Goldbrooks are going to... It is. I mean... It isn't. I mean, Dan, this really isn't the moment. You know I'm thinking about you. I love you, sweetheart, and I'll give you a call when I have some news. I promise. I've got to go now. I've got kind of a, a train to catch. A train? Where are you off to now? This is crazy, Kate. To tell you the truth, I have no idea. Love you, honey. You know that. Kate! Right, everything is in order then. The train is finally ready to leave. I am most terribly embarrassed. Such ignorance on my part is inadmissible. I hope you still have confidence in my abilities, Kate Walker. Please, return to your seat and we can leave. Finally, 